you see, you can just sit here the whole day just about, and there's so many different species of animals that will be coming through here, um, specific hours, times, I mean, I reckon the elephants as well would be quite remarkable if there's a nice big herd of alleys coming through in the late afternoons. Now, we've got a, a water buck, <clears throat> true to its name, it's at the water, um, one of several different kinds of antelopes found in uh, South Africa and other areas obviously in Southern Africa. Uh, this is a male, you see he's got massive horns um, and the females, they do not have horns of the waterbuck species, all right. Now as you might, I'm not sure if you can see it, but what's quite amazing about the waterbuck is the fact that once this guy lifts his head, just keep a look out, Underneath his um, head, you'll see he's like a beard, uh, much longer than mine. And uh, this guy, uh, that is basically hollow hair cubicles, or cutels, should I rather say. Uh, so the hair that's coming from the neck downwards towards the chest is um, hollow. So when the water bug, um, especially in the hot, hot, hot summer times, um, feels the temperature is increasing so much they will and in other areas um, of Africa where like for example in the Delta they have to swim a lot uh, they would go into the water to cool down and um, all the information that I found on it is that these um, uh, hollow hair cuticles they suck up the water like a syringe and once the water bucket leaves the, uh, the water areas that water stays inside the neck for uh, quite some time the reason why I found that interesting is because it's a cooling mechanism. It cools the neck down and uh, we have the main arteries um, in any mammals or I don't know about other animals but uh, the arteries, the main or the best way how to keep it cool is around the neck area. Uh, we sell uh, we uh, sometimes do it as well. Uh, we put uh, wet cloths around our necks to keep it cool because your arteries will cool down faster around that way. So I found that pretty interesting about these guys. He is thirsty, eh? Yeah. Drinking a lot. Beautiful set of horns on him. Patricia, good morning. Um, do I know what kind of algae that is on the water? Uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure. You do get in some uh, areas blue-green uh, blue, algae, so I wouldn't be surprised if that is a blue-green uh, algae that's on top of the specific area. Um, various birds um, do feed on the algae, um, but mammals, um, antelopes and stuff like that, I'm not too sure. Hey? Um, maybe one of the other guides might know it, some of the viewers that might know it could uh, give me a heads up there perhaps. But uh, most of the geese, um, a lot of geese for example, they tend to enjoy the old algae taste, the chewiness.